Hey guys, Staten Zana here from Bonsai Apprentice. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I got a treat for you. Now, it's not going to be the most sightly thing, but it's important to talk about. We're going to be talking about wire scarring, wire marks, and why it's just generally important to wire your trees and keep an eye, an eye on them when they're growing in the uh, season so you don't get stuff like this. So here's my Alberta Blue Spruce, and you can check out what I've done to this tree in the past on my video about my conifer trees. But uh, for now, we're gonna be talking about wire marks. So as you can see, this tree has wire marks basically all over, every branch has it. And so what we're gonna talk about is why it's important to wire your tree today, but also the importance of looking at and keeping an eye on your tree so you don't get these. So essentially what wire marks or wire scarring is, is when the tree grows and that branch expands, it can't grow around the wire that's wrapped around it. So the tissue thickens up in certain places, it can't grow, so then the wire starts to bite in and gouge into the branch. Now, you wanted this a little bit, it'll keep the tree and the, the, the way you styled it, the branches, but this is excessive in quite a few areas, especially like in here where you can see the inner bark and it, I mean the inner hardwood on the tree. So why is it important to keep an eye on so you don't get this stuff? So today uh, I noticed it's biting in in a couple areas. I'm gonna remove some of, uh, well most of this wire basically so we can we can see it, see what it does. And in certain places where I remove wire, where I still think it'll spring up, but want the wire gone, I'm gonna put a guide wire and attach it to the wires down here that I've already read, ran underneath the pot. So that way this entire tree can stay in this style, even if for some reason the branches aren't uh, quite formed yet. So we're gonna go through and do that and I'll give you some tips along the way as we go. Another tip that I wanted to share with you is um, when you're coming in and cutting a branch, a uh, wire off a branch. So let's do this one right here because it's the next one I'm going to do. Try and come either underneath, so come from underneath the branch as much as possible, or come from the side. Don't try and go in over the top because what you'll end up doing is smashing the foliage that's in top. So especially like up here, right? Where I have this all, but then the wire is intermittent. I wanna try and come underneath and cut so I'm not smushing this foliage any. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, I try and dewire. So literally like taking the wire and twisting it off the branch as little as possible. Um, I've seen some people say, you know, it doesn't hurt the tree, but um, I just, I don't believe that's true. And I think, um, especially on something like this, where, you know, if you mess with it too much and start pulling needles out and bending needles, it, they'll just turn yellow and break. Um, and it might be fine for a deciduous tree, but even then I'd be skeptical just because of the same reason you might be pulling it or messing with new buds. Um, and honestly, wire is so cheap, and like, I can't imagine most people are using too much in the grand scheme of things, and obviously I don't know your financial position or anything like that in the world, but, you know, I get paid to recycle this wire, so I do, I keep it, I throw it in a bag, recycle it, and, uh, you know, you get a little chunk of change back, so, um, you know, it's not a lot, but I don't, I don't think that the, uh, the cost outweighs the, the benefit of actually just cutting it off and having it, uh, knowing that the foliage is gonna be all right. So I'm gonna get to it, start cutting this off here, and uh, we will come back.
the guide wire on and it comes down and is tied together down here. Now, what's important about a guide wire to remember is that you have to protect your tree with it. So I'm just using a piece of straw that, you know, from a restaurant that I took um, and I had laying around it, you know, it's basically the best thing I can use right now. And um, it's important to use it because if you don't, a bad guy wire can cut into your tree as much as regular wiring. So you use a little piece of protection. Just give it, give the tree just a little bit of give when you pull it down. And uh, I promise you it won't hurt your tree. It just looks a little unsightly, but you know, by winter, this will be able to come off. And I'm assuming this will all be held still in place. So we'll still be in really, really good shape with it. So, all right, and we're done taking it, the wire off. And we've added three guide wires to the branches that didn't quite hold. Um, now this tree, the next step for this tree really is just to grow for the rest of the season. And honestly, into the next two years, uh, by the end of the season, I'll take the guide wires off because I'm assuming the branches will be set where I basically need them by that point. Because they, they, were, they were in a pretty good spot when I uh, did it initially, but not perfect. So by the end of the year, though, they should be good. And this is just going to go on the bench and it got repotted this year. It's gotten work this year and it's showing really good signs of health. But, you know, this, the next two years, the only thing this tree is going to do is sit on the bench, get watered, get fertilized, get healthy. And it'll look, start to fill out, maybe get a few more branches. I have a couple areas like in here, I'd like a branch and over here, I'd like a branch. But for the most part, you know, obviously, like at some point I could whip this down, put it in there. And but that doesn't leave me with much of an apex. So. You know, we'll play with it after a couple years when it gets really healthy, really ready to uh, be worked again, and I can do more with it. So that's really all for this tree. Um, and to, to review what we've talked about, you know, making sure you support the branches, cut from underneath, be careful of your needles and your foliar masses. And uh, just be cognitively aware that what you're doing could could hurt the tree is important. So, you know, um, just, just pay attention to those things. Wiring is a great tool, but it can also be a detrimental tool if uh, you're, you're not paying attention to it. So, beyond that, that's all I've got for today. If you like this video, please check out others. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, sayonara.